What is up guys, my name is Loverfella and welcome back to the top base locations on Aberration and Ark Survival Evolved. Today we're going to look at the four new biomes, Fertile Chamber, Surface, Bioluminescence, and Element Chamber in order to show you where you should build. So starting it off, we're going to go ahead and get some disclaimer information out of the way. Number one, you do not want to build on the surface, alright? If you build on the surface of the world, you're going to die because sunlight degrades structures. So don't build anywhere the sunlight can hit your structures. Number two, do not build on the ground. Some of the base locations I show you will be on the ground, but the deeper you go, the more dangerous it gets. So I would avoid it at all costs, guys. What I'm here to do is be a guide. I'm here to show you what I think you should be thinking about when picking a base location. You should not look at these locations and say these are the only places you can build. I'm about to show you places that will inspire you to find your own places because ultimately what makes a good base is a spot that you believe in and a spot that you know you can make something happen in. So look around your world, look for things, look for ledges, look for areas that are high off the ground, safe, secure, and near resources. That is how I'm basing everything that I'm about to pick. So guys, sit back, relax, and let's do this. Now before I show you my first base spot, I do want to show you guys that as we ghost underground, you can see the whole expanse like of what aberration is. It goes incredibly deep, and it's about as big as Scorched Earth is, except much, much deeper. So it's the biggest official map they've ever created. And you can see all these different zones and regions, and of course as we get into the deeper ones, it becomes more dangerous. So let's get to the first location. All right, guys, our first base location is located in one of the more safe areas. And this area is cool because you can build on top of this platform right in front of me, and then you can use the zip line to get to the platform in front of it. So this platform is really small, really tiny, and I'd only recommend it for maybe like a three to five member tribe, but there's no danger here, right? It's pretty safe. You got plenty of resources. You have mushrooms, water, stone, flint, everything you can need. You even got a little licking, licking plant that'll lick you. I don't know what they do yet. But this spot's fantastic, guys. It's a noob spot, of course, but then you can zip line down here if you need to get out of the way, or you can zip line back up if you need to get back to your base, because I believe zip lines work two ways. So, very cool, very simple, great base spot. As you can see, the coordinates are on my GPS there, so if you want to know where we are, just look at the GPS at any point in this video. Now, this is still kind of tied into the first base location, but it's just kind of a little extension over here. I thought it'd be cool if you could build your own zip line or maybe glide across from this platform to that platform to the one above my head right here. You could just go to all of them very quickly. And so it's a really, really cool base spot. Highly recommend it. Now we are slowly transitioning down to the bioluminescence region, which is another very safe spot to live, but more dangerous than the one we were just at. And this video is going to slowly progress through different biomes until we get to my ultimate favorite base location. So here we are at this spot. This is a pretty decent area. It's got a bunch of zip lines, a bunch of resources, but it's not my favorite bioluminescence area. But the reason I'm picking this one is because it has great access to metal, great access to water, wood, etc., all the basic resources, and you can hide it by hiding behind this giant amount of trees above you. You could just build something kind of small inside of this region, and then people are going to be maybe gliding down, they're not going to notice the uh, trees there, they're not going to see your tiny base. So this is a spot for one to two people tribes, I'm not going to recommend an alpha tribe live here, but it's a great spot nonetheless. Now this next spot is incredible because it's located in the center of a bunch of water and you can jump from platform to platform to platform while still remaining very safe. And of course you've got a giant bridge and bridges are always great things to live by because once you block that bridge off you're really limiting the amount of access that other people are going to have to your base. So. This is a great spot for defense. It's going to take a bigger tribe to secure the whole area, but it's, it's beautiful first off. You've got absolutely beautiful looking vines that you can, of course, zip line across. You've got bridges, you've got resources, but still, this is not my favorite spot in the bioluminescence region. As we move on in the bioluminescence, I want to show you one more area located on the ground. Now, you guys can do this anywhere in here because the ground is not super dangerous other than some basic monsters, giant crabs and stuff that'll attack you, but nothing nothing you can't take on once you're a little bit advanced in the game. And this spot's cool because you've got a bunch of resources and you've got all this water around you to have armies of dinosaurs to protect you. So, all these platforms work, they're all equally good, but this is just this region, kind of look around, see which one you find that gives you that feeling, that feeling of there's potential here and that's the one for you. And once you find it, don't share it with anyone because that is your spot, keep it that way. All right, up next, this is maybe a more weird spot because of the fact that it's a little bit deeper, a little bit more dangerous, and it has some more poisonous sections to it, such as these poisonous gas wells that will occasionally burst out and poison you. But uh, the problem is you can't actually build in some areas. So it's a great looking spot but you can't build everywhere. You see this red thing coming out. There's a lot of areas in Aberration you actually can't build in, so keep that in mind when looking for your own spots. Now, moving on, if you guys want to live near a red drop, you can come to these coordinates here and build on top of this platform. But this is a great area because there are so many platforms you can build on. 
You can build here, or you can build on the one above it, or you can build on the one below it, or you can build on all of them together, and you'll be able to really kind of protect this red drop and ensure that you're getting them all. So it's deeper, it's more dangerous, it's not going to be as easy to live here, and you got to make sure you can build on all these locations, because the deeper you get, I've noticed that it's actually impossible to build in a lot of places, at least with the metal foundation. So, this one's great, it's a very dangerous, that thing will impregnate you if it hurts you, because it is the queen, so watch out for that. Moving on to one of my most favorite spots um, is this really cool area inside of a cave. The cool thing about this is that you have a ring bridge that comes up to it, and that's the only way to access it. So if you protect that bridge, you can build your main base inside of this skeleton here, surrounded by a giant moat, and you literally have nothing to worry about. So it's an incredible spot. Very, very good. This is an alpha spot, guys. This spot is quality. Get here quick and make it happen, unless there's cave damage. In that case, it's going to be a little bit... Now, a little bit easier to raid, but I don't know how cave damage applies since everything's technically in a cave in Aberration. So, this one's fantastic, highly recommended. Now, this is me just kind of walking around exploring the surface area in a massively sped up version to show you that you really can't build anywhere once you get down in the ground. There's nowhere that it's letting me build. So, if you thought you would build a structure at the bottom of the world, even though I told you not to, you wouldn't be able to. But, you notice there are black pearls here. So, I like to live near black pearls. I like to get them because they're a very valuable resource. And so if you take this coordinates and you go basically straight up, as we keep going and going and going, you'll notice something very cool. As we make it to the top, you'll notice that you can see right where we just were down there. Uh, my arm's shaking because it sped up so quickly, but you can actually build on these strange looking futuristic structures. And you can create something incredible here by linking them together and building small foundations on top where it turns green. Got a little affinity with it, you can build a house here. And it's incredible because you're literally building right next to Black Pearl. So it's a great spot. I don't know why you wouldn't build here, especially as an alpha. Make a little fob here or a little tiny turret base and make that something amazing. So this is a great spot and it's something that I think a lot of people are going to be challenging for once this video gets out there and more people see it. And, uh, you know, it's weird, guys. That's what it's about. It's about being weird. It's about seeing potential. I see potential here. Even if you don't see potential here, I do and others will. And so that's what it's about. It's about getting out there, finding that weird spot that you think has potential. So look at this. If we keep on expanding here, here's another crazy idea. What if you build underneath these crazy structures, right? What if you go on the road underneath them? like right here, and you build a really tall structure up to the top, and that structure is then inside of an indestructible part of the world, where your base can now only be hit from the bottom or from those small windows up top, right? You've got to get creative. This is not normal art, guys. You've got to think outside the box, you've got to think differently, and you've got to think, you know, think jump place to place. That's what you got to say in your head, jump place to place. How can I jump from here to my next base? Because that is what it's all about a gas that will poison you and asphyxiate you and you'll die a horrible death but that means your enemies will as well so i would recommend building inside of this so you have a beautiful chandelier as well and you could build a pretty solid massive base in this area so it's a pretty cool area and i really don't see any problems with it at all um as long as you as long as you avoid those poisonous things like you can see it kind of gives me some weird debuff there so great spot pretty cool uh it's a standard spot it's flat it's boring not as creative but of course, you can zip glide to different areas, get the different drops, so it's got a lot of potential here, and I really like this one a lot. Now up next, this is a spot that I would say would be fit for an alpha tribe, guys. This spot is located in a very safe area, and please excuse my gamma fiving here, I just do it so it's easier for me to see. Um, you're located in front of a massive waterfall, there's nothing behind the waterfall, but what there is is a lot of height differential, and you can use that height differential to build elevated turrets, and that's always a good way to build bases because elevated turrets are harder to deal with when raiding, and so you can build a main base on the top of this waterfall, you can build turret towers on the sides, that's me trying to get back there, trying to figure out is there anything back there, I decided there wasn't, but like there's a lot of potential in this area, guys, highly highly competitive spot and i think this one's going to be one of the first ones claimed it's beautiful you got a river it's just like a kingdom now this is the surface of the world up here you can see the ground's literally on fire so i would just like to re-mention my warning from earlier do not build on the surface now i'm sure there's some weird nook and cranny somewhere you guys can go get into and like hide and build a base but it's just dangerous man i don't know why you'd want to build here this is scorched earth territory you're playing on aberration so why don't you build like aberration people? Maybe you could build back in a crevice like this or make that work for you. But me personally, I don't think I'm going to be building on the surface at all because it's... I don't like scorched earth and this reminds me of scorched earth. I like the new theme, the new biome. So I'm going to stay away from that. And that's 
also because it's incredibly dangerous. Moving on, we have another spot great for a small tribe. This one's great because you can hide behind these crystals, build a couple platforms here, and then zip glide and hang and whatever to get to different areas. So there's like all these crystal platforms, hide a little base in there, snipe behind the indestructible crystals. It's a really cool spot. And I think this one's going to be taken. And I think this is the kind of thing that a creative mind needs to get behind to really make something happen. Now, this one is one of my all-time favorites. This one's really cool because it's this giant weird tube that sticks out of the ground that you can actually build on it. And so you can build on this tube and create some really wild things on here. Like, think of a giant turret wall that just goes through this entire tube. You know? That's crazy. And then you could build on the platforms around it. You could build little bases all over it with more turrets, and it would be like a maze to try to get to your base, while all the while avoiding this mega turret tower right down the center of your massive base. This thing is, in my opinion, something you'd need a tribe of 25-30 people to make successful, because it's, it's going to be huge, sprawling, and it's going to be just in a very, very central location where a lot of people can find it. So, potential? out of the charts guys there's a lot of room here for growth so definitely check this one out. now we're moving out of the more crazy biomes into something more standard this looks more like the island and all i'll say about this is that there's so many ledges here and platforms you could build on that it absolutely blows my mind you could build on every single platform here and make a base there's no best spot in my opinion you guys probably want me to tell you this is the spot because you have a nice little ridge over here with mushrooms and a nice zip line or you want to tell me that's the spot because it's a nice bridge but ultimately any of them can be the spot if you see the potential there. So think about that when playing. If you see a spot that speaks to you, do it. This speaks to me because it's a nice two-tiered layered system. I could build a base on the second and the first floor. This speaks to me because it's a nice area with a cool little canyon under it. I see potential in those areas. So look for the same, especially in this region. Now, for those of you who've watched this entire video or randomly clicked to this part, congratulations. You are now going to see my two top favorite base spots that I've found so far in Aberration. The first one is fairly simple, but it's really cool because it's located in this area surrounded by water. This little platform here actually has drops that spawn on it. So you can build on this platform and then zip glide and hang glide and whatever zip line to get to all kinds of new areas. You of course have water down here so you can create some crazy crab armies or whatever ideas you get. But it's small, but it's hard to reach and there's just a lot of potential here to me. So I really, really like this area a lot. And my number one spot is actually located right next to this all the way over here. At first I thought it was here. I thought you could build on this, but it turns out you can only build on the grassy areas, not the metal. And so I thought to myself, all right, that's disappointing. So I looked around and I saw these little weird looking toe shaped islands that are all connected by zip line. You can actually jump back to back to back between these islands, build bases on every single one of them and have trenches between them all to knock people into. The potential on this one is out of the roof. The potential for base building, the access to resources, water, metal, new elements, new stuff. It is insane, guys. This, this spot's crazy. And of course, that's how the zip lining works. I believe if you have maybe gasoline, you can go back and forth. But this spot is absolutely incredible. Now, just to tie it all together, guys, I want to remind you of a last few minute things. Number one, do not build on the surface or in sunlight. Number two, do not build deep in the ground. Even if you can, which I don't think you can, don't do it. Don't try to prove yourself to anyone. You're going to get murdered. Stay in these safer areas, at least until people know more about the game. Because as you know, this video is recorded fairly quickly after the release, not even 24 hours after Aberration's out. So I don't know everything about the game. So in a few months, this info may or may not still be accurate. Number three, look for your potential spot. Look for that spot that speaks to you. Look for that spot that says, this is mine. This is where I'm going to build something amazing. The devs have given us a beautiful world that is absolutely breathtaking. They have given us a world. There are so many spots, guys, you can build in. And all you have to do is believe it, look at it, see the potential, and start it. Make like Just have a vision and just make it come to life. Get creative, guys. That's what it's about. Remember to jump from platform to platform. And remember, most importantly, to have fun, guys. As always, if you're new here, please subscribe. Hit that bell button so you get notified of my videos every day. I put a lot of effort into these. This is actually my fifth time recording this, so my voice may be going away by the end of this. But I wanted to make sure it was the best quality it could be, guys. Um, I love you. You guys are amazing. Don't forget to spread the love, and I'll see you all tomorrow.